Hi, my name is Chuck Stogman. I teach science at Parsons Junior High School in Redding, California, eighth grade physical science. And I'm going to share with you one of my favorite demonstrations I do for the class to help teach them about single replacement reactions, reactions that are exothermic, and that produce, number one, the lightest gas, the lightest element in the universe, which happens to be hydrogen. So let's take a look at this demonstration. Uh, we have a number of uh, pieces of equipment on the, on the table here. We have a uh, flask clamp attached to an Erlenmeyer flask. And we have a ring stand here with a glass, very thick glass funnel on top of there. And I have some zinc inside of this baby crucible. And I have some hydrochloric acid inside of this reagent bottle. And I have a rubber stopper with a glass tube and a rubber tube coming off of there to be used as a gas collection device. I said this reaction is exothermic, so that means it gets warmer, much warmer, considerably warmer. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is share with you how I, about, how I go about doing this demonstration and explain the reaction behind it as well and why things happen the way they happen. So what do you think is going to happen? I happen to have an egg here and I have bored out this egg and emptied out its contents and allowed it to dry. There are holes in either end of it, a few millimeters in diameter. And what I'm going to do is take some Vaseline and I'm going to coat the bottom third of the egg, not the whole, the bottom third of the egg with the Vaseline like that. And then I'm going to place the egg inside of the glass funnel. And there's a nice tight seal between the sides of the glass funnel and that egg. And next after that, I'm going to go ahead and take my reagent bottle. Notice how I turn my hand over, grab the stopper, keep my mouth away, and a nose away from the contents of the reagent bottle. Same hand. And I pour some hydrochloric acid, otherwise known as muriatic acid, inside of the Erlenmeyer flask. I have approximately 50 milliliters inside. Now I cover up that hydrochloric acid, remove the reagent bottle from the experimental situation, demonstration table, and uh, off to the side it goes. Then I have some zinc here, and I'm going to pour the zinc inside of the Roll my flask. Just make sure I have my barbecue lighter out here, which is actually very important. And here we go. Oh, safety goggles are on. Gas is being produced. Whoa, is that coming off of there? And I cover the top of the egg to trap the hydrogen gas which is being produced. So the egg itself is filling up with hydrogen gas. And I'm going to allow that reaction to run for about another 15 seconds. And take this off the bottom here, remove source of hydrogen gas, light the barbecue lighter, and wait, there's a very small flame, about a centimeter tall on top of the egg, which you may not be able to see. And I'm actually going to turn off the light so you can see what's going on here. Oh, and then it explodes. That was exciting. All right, so the egg exploded. So let me share with you what was actually occurring and I'll move this out of the way. You can see back here on the whiteboard, we had a reaction where we started out with the uh, acid, hydrochloric acid containing hydrogen and chlorine gas bonded into hydrochloric acid. And we added a single um, element. You can tell it's a single element because it has one capital letter. Take a look. Hydrochloric acid has two capital letters referring to two elements that make up the acid. Zinc has one capital letter. You see a lowercase. But that only means that it goes along with zinc, and that's, that's why it's that one capital letter, and that means it's zinc. And then the reaction, with the arrow here, means produces or yields or gives. It yields a new compound, which is zinc chloride. It's no longer hydrochloric acid, though there's some active acid still inside of that Erlenmeyer flask. And it also produces a gas. And that gas is very, very, very flammable. And as you can see, explosive. So what happened was, that flame began to burn the hydrogen inside of that, uh, that egg until the concentration of hydrogen gas was reduced just enough to draw oxygen up through the bottom of the glass funnel. And when the oxygen mixed with the hydrogen, which was already 
uh, well, basically on fire. At, at some point, it reached critical mass and blew itself up, and there we have it. And what I'm going to do is bring you a little bit closer to something I have here, and that's to see what is actually going on inside of this Erlenmeyer flask. So I zoom us in. Oops, that's zooming us out. And we come on in a little bit closer, even closer than that, to the point where I can show you the inside. of this Earl Mark flask. There's still some bubbling going on. It's quite hot to the touch. And we'll zoom ourselves back out. And most of the zinc that I put inside there has now changed considerably. It doesn't look anything like what it did when I put it in there, so most of that zinc has actually reacted. What I can still see is bubbling occurring inside. Still a tremendous amount of heat on this rubber tube. And the Erlenmeyer flask is very, very hot. So it's still quite reactive. And as I said earlier, this is an exothermic reaction, which is the, which is the opposite of a what? An endothermic reaction. Now, there's something I didn't tell you about. That's something that this is also called. It's called a single replacement reaction. And a little story you can tell here. You can imagine that hydrogen and chlorine were two people that were dating. Hydrogen, you could say, was, oh, I don't know, perhaps a gentleman. And the gentleman was going out with chlorine. Then, here's what happens. A new kid arrives at school. It could be Zink. Zink's a handsome young gentleman, also just quite, quite nice. For whatever reason in that relationship, it gets decided that Zink is going now going to date chlorine. It's an arrangement that they've had for quite some time. Now, hydrogen is left all by itself. It has been a, it was a single replacement reaction. Now hydrogen is, sing is single in this reaction, and as you can tell by the end of the reaction, hydrogen was quite a hothead. And in the end, what happened? Hydrogen blew up. And that is the end of our demonstration. If you have any questions or comments or things like that, you can always email me at Parsons Junior High School in Redding, California. Give me a call, and I'll try to get back to you.